to navigate. Right. And I just think giving voice to the burden, you know, I'm, I've been practicing law a long time. I'd argued a case at the U.S. Supreme Court some years back, and then I had a hearing in the Midwest, not even in the Deep South. Mm -hmm. And I went to this courtroom, I had my suit and tie on, I was sitting at defense counsel's table, I got there early, always there early, and the judge walked in and he saw me sitting there and he got angry. He said, hey, 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 you get back out there in the hallway, you wait until your lawyer gets here, I don't want any defendants sitting in my courtroom without their mm -hmm. lawyer. And I had to apologize, so I stood up and said, well, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Brian Stevenson, I am the lawyer. And the judge started laughing, and the prosecutor started laughing. I made myself laugh because I didn't want to disadvantage my client. Right. Client came in, a young white kid I was representing. Mm. We did the hearing, but afterward I was thinking, what is it when this judge saw a middle-aged black man sitting in a suit and tie at defense counsel's table? Still didn't occur to him. Still that that's didn't the see it. And what that is is this presumption of dangerousness 